The honeymoon is far from over for Quad City River Band and Brett Booth, and not just in his young baseball career, he's also a newlywed. He and his wife Olivia got married last December and they are living in separate states now. Olivia back in Alabama while Brett is here in the Quad Cities and they savor their times together when Olivia makes the trip up north. Being apart, you know, it's been pretty tough. Um, just uh, being married there this past December and then turning around in uh, the end of February and getting headed off to spring training. It was kind of a pretty quick turnaround. So it's been tough being away from each other, but it also makes you enjoy the times that she gets to come visit and uh, the times we do get to spend spend with each other while, while she's here it makes you enjoy it a little bit more. Was that a tough decision to say? You know, you stay back. You know, it's, a, it's kind of a work-related thing. Like she's got a job down there. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was something we had talked about and kind of knew that uh, financially she was going to stay back. Um, uh, of course, the minor league budget uh, salary doesn't quite uh, allow you both to be able to travel with each other. So it was kind of a decision we made with our parents um, along to kind of decide for her to stay back the first couple of years and get a job and, and work and, and take care of things back home. Everyone's question is, you guys are married, like why aren't, why aren't y'all living together? I went to a baseball game last week and one of his teammates was saying, why don't y'all get to live together? And um, I was just explaining to him that it's, it's so inconsistent. You know, he's here this week, but he could be somewhere completely different next week. And being newlyweds, obviously, finances are, are um, a big thing. And so I have to have a job wherever we are. And so I can't come here, find a job. But he does such a great job of just still making me feel special and still making me feel like I have a husband in the house. Well, talk about, too, the strategies you have to, uh, to remain close, even though you're far apart. You know, how Skype is working in. Um, you, I'm sure you pray together over the phone, things like that, right? We do, because um, it's, it's important for us to remain close um, conversationally, but also spiritually. And so we do, we take the opportunity just to talk and hear about each other's day. And then sometimes we'll have FaceTime dates, which we just take that as a date and take it as a special time where we get to truly be intentional with our time spent with each other. And we do pray. And if something's going on, I'll get a text from him, hey, pray for me about this. I'm struggling with this. or you know, my, this hurts, so today I got hit by a ball, can you pray for it? I'm like, yeah, I'd love to, and so it's, that's part of our spiritual, us being one, us being married, it's, um, it's important to keep that strong too. Brett and Olivia had very different spiritual journeys as they arrived on campus at the University of Alabama. Brett to play baseball, Olivia softball. She became a Christian at age nine, went on to become the president of FCA at the University of Alabama and played on a national championship team in 2012. Meantime, Brett rallied from some poor decision making in his high school days and early in his college career. He then made a decision for Christ his sophomore year, and as they say, the rest is history. It wasn't until college that, you know, I found where my faith came from. And so I think it worked out just perfectly that, you know, if, if, if we weren't, if we did, were the, didn't know each other before, college and before I became a, a born again believer that you know it, it might not have been the same but I think that's what's, what's awesome about the way the Lord works and how he works and his timing that it was just as you know a few months after I became a believer that we met started hanging out became friends and then before you know it we're where we are today. And it's neat that we were both in the same town and I didn't meet him because he was a troublemaker is what we like to say but um, yeah just playing sports and and being in the training room at the same time or being in the weight room at the same time and you see each other and 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 then get to hang out with them and you see that they believe in the same things you believe in and that they're so much more than an athlete and that you're so compatible and and knowing that that I played softball my whole life to meet him and he played baseball his whole life for a reason like that brought us together in college. I have a great fulfillment right now you know I'm really at peace and really enjoying what's going on right now so I think you know just the whole whole experience of being married and being committed for, for the rest of your life to one per, one girl it's just found a contentment in me that I'm really enjoying right now. Mm -hmm. And last thing I mean what's the, your guys like prayer life like too is it, you know talk about that you know maybe you know through Skyping or something, and then when you're with her, you know, that, that intimacy of what prayer can be, too. I mean, how special is that? <laughs> yeah, it's been great, you know. Uh whether it's, it's me right now, I'm trying to learn Spanish, getting her to pray for me to help me, you know, you know, learn Spanish or her going through things at work or whatever it is. I think it's been pretty cool to be away from each other, you know, hey, 
um, you know, I got this going on right now. Do you mind praying for me? And then seeing that prayer uh, coming into effect, you know, throughout it, and you know that it's it's being invested by each other in prayer and seeing it, you know, work its way out, being away from each other. And then, of course, when she gets here, it's just more, such more fulfillment being able to pray with each other and being with each other every day. I actually remember one of my friends telling me that um, she was like, Olivia, the definition of the world, like the guy who you, you think, oh Lord, we'll never save him. Like, I'm not going to talk to him because it's not even worth it. She's like, he came to know the Lord today and we just celebrated and I had no idea that I was going to marry that guy. Yeah. And it was so neat just to, to meet him and when, when I tell people now that I'm married to Brett Booth, they're kind of like, oh, I didn't know he was married. And I'm like, yeah, you don't know him now, you know, you know him in high school. and. He's completely different. Just the things that you, your desire is changing and everything just completely changing in him. This is exactly where we need to be. And um, just watching Brett play, having an athletic background, I can just see that he was made for this. When I watch him, when I, I see just his natural abilities and natural instincts in the game, it's clear that he's where he needs to be. And sometimes I do get caught up in looking at how many people are out there playing or how many more steps he has until he's made it or all those things. And I think it kind of takes away from just knowing that right now he's exactly where he needs to be. And the Lord will give us peace and give us everything that we need, strength for, for this right now. And then if he wants something different for him, that he'll give us the tools for that too. Are you the one who's going to help start Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your college, high school, or middle school campus? Well, let's get it done. You can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org to find out how. It's also time to sign up for our many FCA camps this summer. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.